Hello world! Today we are in Summerland, BC, which is a very beautiful place and also happens to be the place that Nick is working all this week. So we've been staying in Summerland all week and have actually been like super busy lately. But today we figured that we'd film a kind of van life, what I eat in a day. Um, and we're gonna be explaining all of our meals and kind of what a typical day of eating looks like. Although for us, it fluctuates so much every day because I love cooking. So whenever I find like a new recipe or whatever, I'm always the first person to try it. But um, regardless, we kind of want to show you guys um, what our food looks like in a day. And we're so excited to eat it because we got all the groceries for this last night. So please come along with us and we will also just be enjoying our partial day off in Summerland today. I said partial. Full day off tomorrow. Yeah, full day off tomorrow. Half day off today. Partial day off. Nick was working this morning, but only for like a few hours, so. so typically we make our own coffees. Um, we don't always buy iced coffees, but we left our French press at my mom's place like a week ago. So we've just been blowing money on mm -hmm. iced coffees every day. We keep going like, oh, surely we'll get it. We'll go up in a few days. And then we've just not been able to go back up to your parents' place no. to get to No, get and it. I keep forgetting to tell my mom to, like, to ask her if she's coming into town. And she'll be in Kelowna. I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot to ask you to bring something. So at Tim Hortons, they don't have, well, they have, like, almond milk, but they just don't have, like, the vanilla flavored one. They also make a hazelnut flavored one. Uh, but they just have like the the normal one so we like to get just the black coffees and then we put our own um, vanilla flavoring into it Of course we need to eat breakfast now that we have our coffee and like Nick said like we're dying to get our French press back. It's been It feels like we've been spending so much money on getting coffee out every day, but We are not very good at starting our mornings without coffee. So you gotta do what you gotta do We'll get our French press back from his mom, so that's coming soon. But yeah, iced coffee, and then today what we're going to make for breakfast is a chickpea salad sandwich. So I should also mention that all the food in this video is going to be vegan, although you could just make a lot of these recipes like the non-vegan version. So um, yeah, something that we really like to have is a chickpea salad sandwich. We're basically making egg salad, but we're making it with chickpeas. So let's get started. We have chickpeas. And then we have vegan mayo. Um, I'm putting dill in, celery, red onion, uh, turmeric, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And then we're also putting black salt in here as well. I actually have to keep our black salt in double bag because one time we spilled this black salt and if you've used black salt before, you would know that it smells super eggy, which gives the egg salad sandwich its beautiful taste. And we put it in like tofu scramble wraps as well but it is a very, very pungent, eggy smell. And one time we spilt it like basically all over the van and our van smelled like eggs for a week. So that was good times. I was gonna originally make these on wraps, but we made burgers the other day and we had two leftover burger buns. So we're just gonna make the sandwiches on that. Hey, okay, so I'm gonna be doing a voiceover. I got this recipe from a simple veganista and it's super easy to make and it requires no heat. So first we wash and drain the chickpeas. Then we grab some red onion, celery, and dill, as well as mayo, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Chop up all the veggies and dill and just add everything to a bowl. This bowl was too small so I had to transfer it. And then basically just mash it all up. Today we're serving it on our leftover buns, but we usually use a wrap or even on crackers or rice cakes. And I honestly love this meal because it's super high in protein for vegans. And even if you obviously eat eggs, you can just make an egg salad sandwich with real eggs. But with the chickpeas, yeah, it's still high in protein. It's a really good breakfast. We sometimes have it for lunch as well. And I like it because you also don't have to actually cook anything on the stove. So yeah, 10 out of 10. So we are about to head out for the day, but before we go, because later we're gonna be making a Greek salad, and because we of course don't eat feta cheese, I found a really good recipe a while back and I forget who it's from, but I'll put it here. 
um, to make like a vegan tofu feta cheese, but it requires some sitting in the fridge so that all the flavors soak in and make it deliciously cheesy and salty and just so good. So before we head out, I'm just gonna make that and then we will get outside the van because we've been in here all morning. I just got tofu, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, oil, and oregano. The first step is pressing the tofu, but I bought this tofu already pressed, so I just dabbed it with paper towel and started tearing it up. I feel like the uneven pieces add to the authenticity. Then I added lemon juice and some oil, which is optional and is a suggestion, I think, from a different recipe. Oregano and nutritional yeast, which is also optional. Then I just filled up the rest with water. And I mix it all up. Then store it in the fridge for at least four hours. That was super good. That was like the best meal ever. Um, so now that we have lots of energy and we have coffee and uh, we're feeling good, I think we're gonna head up to um, Giant's Head Park here in Summerland, uh, which is a perfect trail going up uh, Giant's Head Mountain and, and it's really nicely paved. So. If you are a downhill skateboarder, Giant's Head, you, you know what Giant's Head is. Uh, if not, it's just a really nice uh, windy path that goes up the side of the mountain. Um, we, uh, like downhill skateboarders, we will, uh, there's usually an event every year where we skate down the hill and we go really fast and drift all the corners and stuff. So I think we're gonna hike up the mountain. I'm gonna try and, um, skate down. Uh, Land Yachts sent me a uh, package of some, uh, some boards, some wheels, some new stuff to try out. So I think we're going to take that up Giant's Head and um, yeah, do, do a bit of downhill skating. So usually on a short hike like this, like typically on longer hikes, we bring like hummus and all sorts of snacks because we always feel like eating throughout our hikes and on breaks. But today, since the hike's kind of short and we're just filming a little bit of skating and a little bit of hiking, we just brought seaweed snacks, which are kind of our go-to. These ones are Sriracha. So these are obviously two different brands, but we love both of them. And then Kind Bars are also our go-to as well. Um, we get the peanut butter and dark chocolate. As you can see, they're like completely melting because it's so hot outside and every time we like stop in the sun, they just melt completely. Um, but yeah, always bring snacks. We don't always eat them, but those are like some of our go-tos. And then of course, water. So we're not like huge drinkers of like juice or anything like that. We kind of just drink coffee in the morning, water throughout the day, and sometimes wine at night, but yeah. Now that we're hungry from our hike, we'll make lunch, and this will just be a pretty typical Greek salad. So I just chop up tomatoes, onion, and cucumbers, and then add it to a container with black olives. Then we'll add that tofu feta cheese. And you could just use this leftover liquid as your dressing, but I had some salad dressing in the fridge that was just taking up space. So then I just shake it up 
And if you're using store-bought dressing, just make sure that it doesn't have feta in it because not all Greek salad dressing is vegan. Then we drink more water and I feel like taking a nap, so bye. So as you can tell, Rachel is having a nap. One of many daytime naps when it's hot like this. Um, we had lunch a little while ago, uh, hung out, went to the skate park for a bit. She's glaring at me, I think. Oh, I think that's a smile. I don't know. It's, it's an interesting way to smile. <laughs> um, anyways, I, it's getting close to dinner time. Uh, I would love to go and maybe get in some water, either before or after dinner. It doesn't matter. I'm also just really excited for dinner. Dinner's gonna be F wording bomb. Are you twerking? Rachel's trying to twerk. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we um, gotta cook some dinner here pretty soon. Right, Rachel? Yeah. <laughs> so we just pulled into what would you call it? Like uh, a free RV parking space. Yeah, in Summerland. Yeah. And they didn't have this here last time. No, I don't know if it's uh, like really new or what, but um, yeah, they have like a free RV parking space here. Uh, I read online that it's, I read online that it was one night, I read online three nights. Um, there are no signs that say either, either of those <laughs> things. Um, I don't know, but. But we're here. I'm glad that it's here. Yeah, it's a relatively flat little gravel parking space. It's pretty late right now, so we're not going to film it. Um, but just imagine like a flat gravel space off the side of the road. Yeah, there's some other van lifers here and it's like really nice. So tonight we are just about to make dinner. We went to the lake and it was so nice. And now we're about to make dinner. And this, I definitely remember who originally I got this recipe from and it was the blog Rabbit and Wolves. I love her vegan recipes, they're so good. This is a one pot pasta, so it's actually like super easy to make. And I've only made it one time and then like- I, And I remember it very well. Yeah. It's I, insane. I, I, I remember the first time I made it, I read the reviews and they were like, I made this and then I came in the middle of the night and my husband had like eaten like the entire pot and the person like, and then you kind of were the same with it. I've only made it once to like the tea and then I've made like my own renditions of it afterwards. But tonight I think I'm pretty much gonna follow the recipe. So let's do it because we have been craving it all day. We will start this recipe with Brussels sprouts, oil and garlic. Nick will chop up the garlic and I will chop up the Brussels sprouts. And then we add them to a pot with the oil and then just tend to them until the Brussels sprouts are soft and oh my god, the van smells like garlic and it's heavenly. Yeah, Nick will tend to them until they're ready and then set them aside. Melt a quarter cup of butter, a quarter cup of flour, whisk it and then add two cups of broth and two cups of non-dairy milk. We bring this to a boil, add the spaghetti, stir it till it's done and then add the garlic and Brussels sprouts back in. We didn't make a snack before bed tonight because we ate so much of this pasta and had so many leftovers. We sometimes forget that sugar is not just sweet. I am so full from that pasta. I just want to go straight to sleep. So 
Let's clean up and do the outro in the morning, okay? Sure. Good night. So, what do you what do you think about um, the meals that we make in the van, honey? What do I think about the meals? Yeah. What about the ones yet from yesterday? How are you feeling? What are the meals from yesterday? Mm -hmm. I feel full of energy. Um, really, there's just like this, these natural uh, natural uh, along Sanon drones. Which which one of those would you say is our most frequent meal? Probably the Greek salad. Yeah, we make that Greek salad all the time. Ever yeah. since I found out like how to make the tofu feta cheese, I make it all the time. But um, we are going to get back to our very busy work week. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more like what I eat in a day vlogs, obviously it's just so weird doing it just for one day. Yeah. Because like there's no way you can show the range of food that you eat. Mm -hmm. And living in a van doesn't mean that you have to compromise eating delicious meals. Um, sometimes you just have to get a little bit creative. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, adios. Thank you for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Before you guys go. Um, uh, Rachel's just in the back editing. And uh, I just wanted to grab you guys and just say, like, please, please stop subscribing. Um uh, we're still working working with YouTube to get that subscribe button removed, um, but yeah, just just if you guys can uh, stop subscribing, stop liking the videos and stuff like that. Um, honestly, it's getting kind of annoying, and uh, I think I think I've I, like we've told you guys like I've told you guys like enough, you know. So. Honey, are you coming? Oh. <laughs> I gotta go. Bye.